The game was rigged from the start. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Game of Vibe World back for you. We have an interesting segment and we're gonna touch on indie games? Yes, we are. Indie games, I love them. They're always so unique, so different, and yeah. so fun. Mm -hmm. And I recently started playing one called Tunic. It's basically Whoa. Legend of Zelda, but if a cute little fox. Now, I was so blown away with how fun and how creative this game is. I needed to know who are the minds behind the game only to find out, gasp, it's just one mind. Oh. One guy wow. made this game. It had me thinking. If you, those. I know, right? Mm -hmm. And if you think you need to know programming or have a huge team of talented people to make a successful mm. game, let these three titles expand what's possible for you. Released about two weeks ago, Tunic is an action-adventure game developed by Canadian indie developer Andrew Shoulders and published by Finji. You start off as a fox on a beach with no goals until you meet another fox trapped in a magic jail. And then you must find three gems to release her. After that, you're pretty much left to explore and interpret the world as you want because everything, even the instruction manuals you find, are written in the language of this world with just enough English to help you puzzle things out. The game is a lot of fun for being so deceptively simple and it's amazing that it was created by only one person. Andrew Shoulders took six years to create this game, starting it off as a weekend project in between his full-time job before quitting and working full-time on the game. He used the Unity engine in order to create it and his YouTube channel shows short clips of his methods starting from just doodles in his notebook and completing his entire vision in Unity. While he does have a lot of knowledge of programming and game development, don't let that stop you from trying out the Unity engine for yourself, which is free, and trying your own hand at your own Zelda title. Bright Memory is a first-person hack and slash video game that looks like a team of professionals created it, but no. It was all done by one 23-year-old high school dropout. That man is the name on your screen and he created his own studio, FYQD Studio. Bright Memory and its expanded version, Bright Memory Infinite, stars Sheila, who can use guns and swords as well as supernatural abilities to stop a military organization from acquiring an ancient power that can bring back the dead. And you battle those soldiers as well as ancient beasts in between solving puzzles. Now, Zeng is not a programmer. He's actually a 3D artist and he used the Unreal Engine for Blueprint System, which is a visual scripting system, meaning instead of all the coding and syntax, he could fuse together components of the game to create a simple and sweet flow. Without a team, Zeng was able to shorten the time it took to create his characters by using real illusion facial motion capture, as well as character creator and headshot. He first debuted the game in 2017, where he received financial support through the Epic Games Unreal Dev Grant. The first episode of the game was released in 2019, with the second episode, which was actually an expanded version, released in 2021. This developer used his resources to create a short but nonetheless amazing title. Now, the Unreal Engine is also free to download and play with, and they have so many resources and assets free to download and create what you want. Plus, should your game succeed and be published with them, you only pay 5% royalty fees. Undertale was the understated smash hit when it was released in 2015 by American indie game developer Toby Fox. The game doesn't have amazing graphics, nor is it adrenaline-fueled or action-packed. It's a simple 2D role-playing game where the player controls a child who has fallen into the underground and is trying to return to the surface. The player meets various monsters and can choose to fight them or talk it out, with these choices affecting the story outcomes and the way later characters interact with the player. What made Undertale so awesome was the story, the music also created by Toby Fox, and the unique gameplay mechanic of having conversations with monsters instead of killing them. Not to mention the simplistic art style made the gags really funny. 
Now, in terms of development, the game was financed through Kickstarter and took 32 months to create. He used Game Maker Studio to create it, although he had been working with RPG Maker before. Undertale received numerous accolades and was nominated for awards ranging from Best Indie Game to Best RPG and Best PC Game. Plus, it made over 26 million US dollars on PC alone and it's available for most platforms. So it truly shows that if you have passion and a good concept, you don't need awesome graphics to make a great game. If you have a good concept, Game Maker Studio 2 is free to download and easy to learn because no coding is necessary. Like Unity, it uses the visual coding system to make game development easy. If you're not a programmer, you're not into coding. You don't need the most decked out computer to run it either. Now, there are of course many more titles that have been created by solo developers and they are making some huge bucks. That's Let's look good. at, right? Let's look at Minecraft, for example, being the most popular. It was created by one guy and then sold to Microsoft for 2.5 billion money. Exactly. So I just use these three titles that each use a different engine to give you guys and any aspiring game developers out there some ideas and free resources to get that idea out of your mind and please onto a console. Definitely. You know, it was just very interesting to see those three examples that you provided, of course, coming from the noggin of the great one. Aww. Yeah, she just goes around, digs around for stuff that we're not even thinking about. I do remember that there was a particular title called Flappy Bird that was made by one guy. One and, guy. And basic game. Basic. Millions of money. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And he just sold it off once again. I, either that you make enough money and that you're you're good, or you know. They it just launches, headhunt you, you know? Yeah, it launches your career. Mm -hmm. So go for it, guys. All of these resources are completely free. All of these engines are completely free. You don't even need the best computer to use, for example, Game Maker 2. So download it, get it, and start making your games. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting chick? for? What She's not coming. For? Go ahead, do it. <laughs> work, work. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> That's it for us. Game of Vibe World. We'll be back for the final. Yeah. There's final. more action. Action.